Hello and welcome to another one of my product review videos and today it's US Broker First Trade. They specialize in US stocks, options and ETFs and if you're not from the States why would you be interested? Well they offer international accounts and that means you can have direct access into those markets which offers you some unique ways of trading and I'm going to do my usual 12 step um, analysis of the broker giving them a final overall score and see whether they are worth having a go with so with that let's get into the detail <laughs> So here we are in the First Trade website, it's www.firsttrade.com and if you want to get a flavour for what they're about then have a scroll down that home page. You can see stocks, ETFs, options, now they even do crypto coins, 30 of them there, mutual funds, got a lot of supporting stuff as well which we'll cover off soon about costs and everything but this is about opening an account, how easy is it to do? Well you go up to the top, hit open an account and then simply fill out the details. Now, if you're from the US, you will hit that button. If you're not, you want to check what region you you know, can access first trade from. Here's a list of countries, so it's pretty comprehensive. They could add a few more on there to cover some other key uh, markets, but that is a good selection. If you want to know where to open the international account from, go back to the um, first trade homepage, go to um, home, hit international accounts and hit the button there. Now I did this process, opened up an international account, it was very straightforward, very simple, good communication um, around the opening, a few details like passports, you know, local um, information that they required and my account was up and running. So really very simple process, no complaints, very easy to do. So security, very important in this day and age in the cyber world that we live in. And login, once you've opened your account, is quite straightforward. It's a username and password. I don't know whether I missed it or not, but I haven't seen any two-step verification there. But so far, all looks very secure. I've done a few checks, pretty um, okay to me. And I've also got their app on my phone, and that had um, fingerprint entry, looked pretty secure. Uh, got to say, had no problems so far. So, so far, so good. It's been reliable, no complaints. So when you're in the website, under the service tab, there is the help center and the contact us area. And you can see they've got an online help center which has got most of your questions that you want answering in there. Email, telephone, fax. I haven't got one of those little chat online things, but I've got to say, when I've asked questions by email, they've come back to me almost instantly so really you know pretty decent um, customer service old school you know do it properly type of broker and service and that's what you really want your questions answered quickly efficiently and in the right way and so far they've done that so again can't fault them on their customer service So in terms of trading platform, you can use the phone, you can use web-based uh, tool, or you can use their mobile app. Now, all are pretty decent and work well. I've been using them for the last few months to test them out. Um, the reason why I've given them the score that I have for this um, section, and you'll see what it is in a minute, is because the web-based one to me just feels 
like it needs a bit of a refresh, a bit of a modernization. But in terms of actual trading, which is the important part, then once you get used to it, it is a highly effective, you know, trading instrument. I haven't suffered any lag or breakdowns or, you know, the application, you know, halting, messing me around, all worked very nicely. Now on the site, you can um, have various options, something called quick bar, the dashboard, um, and you can go into your stocks if you want to trade stocks. And now their new application there, crypto, if you want to. Where I hang out most times is in the options area. And really, it is a really, really good um, tool. I really like it. I've been an options trader in the past. I find it to be simple and effective, and that's all I want. I don't need anything too fancy. I said a bit of a refresh might be nice, but overall, very good. So we're now inside my account, and I wanted to go in there just to show you a bit more detail of what you can do. Again, it's now the tabs are actually live, so you want to go options trading. You can go through this front panel here. You can use this great bit of kit, which I really like, is the options wizard. And that allows you to come up with scenarios, ideas. They suggest their own ideas as well in there. Um, it's a really, really nice tool to have. It makes options trading a whole load easier. Um, like I say, stocks ETFs, again, it's very simple and straightforward. Previews, sending your orders, all the tools are there. Um, you just got to, like with most accounts, get used to the feel for it and then start using it. And like I said, they cover off other areas, mutual funds, fixed income, conditional orders, extended hours trading, all sorts of stuff on there. So there you go, that's the trading platforms. Like I said, they've got an app as well, which was easily downloadable, very usable, a lot more modern in its look. And again, easy to use both for stocks and options trading. So overall, like I said, I'm going to give it three out of five, but I only lost that point just because I felt that it needed a bit more of a refresh bringing together in the web based application. When you're on a trading desk in a professional environment, you'll find that they don't have all these fancy widgets and tools around their broker platform. They want something that is straightforward and simple and easy to use. And first trade for me reminds me of, you know, a proper feeling broker that I would have used back in the day. No problems. The app, very easy to use. I can show you here. We've got it on my phone. It's all very straightforward, easy to use. Like I say, it's biometric to come in with. All the details that you need are on there. Easy to execute the trades. And then the actual main platform itself, again, very easy to use. And that's what you need. You don't need all these distractions. There are other tools there, but they keep them nicely out of the way. And for me, that is very important. So, yeah, very good. What you dread as a trader is your platform breaking down just at the wrong time. Now, I've been trialing first trade probably for about three months now. Had absolutely no issues whatsoever. I know there are other brokers out there that like to play games with crashing the system when the markets move a lot, but we've been through some choppy times the last few months and had no problems whatsoever with the platform. The app as well, always loads up, always accessible. So yeah, very good. Reliability, yeah, top notch. Now in terms of markets to trade, then I really can't fault First Trade. They really do cover off pretty much everything I wanted from the US stocks world. Now remember, you know, they're not a global broker offering you international stocks. You can trade the ADRs, 
that are on the US market for a lot of those foreign stocks they're all here as well and you know stocks ETFs just come and search the symbol and maybe even create a watch list of stocks you can trade straight through those as well like I said I haven't not been able to find a stock I wanted to trade and again in the, under the options section it's the same story it's all there you've got all the options chains that you require if you want to get into mutual funds fixed income ETFs like I say it's all there so in terms of markets it is immense really in its coverage and like I say for an international client that gives you access into small US stocks that maybe you couldn't trade through your own country and especially options trading that gives you that leverage you know a unique ability to create um, payoff profiles that you wouldn't get elsewhere so really it's a good platform if you want to trade US stocks options ETFs and that sort of thing so again very good so let's talk costs then and really it's all here on the screen zero dollars for any stocks ETFs mutual funds options again zero dollars and they actually you know quite clearly publish their rates it's pretty pretty decent in terms of costs there we got some margin rates as well special services and they compare it also to some other brokers and as you can see TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Fidelity, Merrill Edge it looks a lot better than those doesn't it so again very very competitive and definitely worth thinking about you know using them just really because of the costs involved it's going to save you a lot of money now many people when they open a broker account often overlook where that broker is regulated or incorporated and to me that's very important for the safety of your funds it gives me a bit more confidence in you know them as a corporation now this one first trade us incorporated and regulated by FINRA so they cover off all the bases um, so yeah I think it's a pretty secure platform in terms of like I say the regulation and the incorporation so first trade uh, global access well obviously um, the broker is set up to serve US citizens and their markets primarily and that's very obvious but in a global world that we live in they do like I said we touched on it earlier cover a lot of international areas but I think there are some missing I don't know why they are missing it might be due to regulation costs I'm not sure whether they don't think they've got a market there or not but you know I'm lucky that the UK is covered and a vast swathe of the world is also picked up there but you know we haven't got Australia um, South Africa um, some other European countries but like I say the list is pretty decent I'd love to know why they don't add more but probably like I say cost regulation um, so that's why you know the score is down a bit there just because of the lack of total coverage but like I say it's still pretty decent when you've got countries like China and India in there um, covers a big sway I suppose of the world's population now for me here first trade dropped a few points it was more to do with the funding now within the US it seems quite straightforward and easy electronic funding wire transfers account transfers that sort of thing but internationally we like to use our you know debit or credit cards and there wasn't easy access for that you have to do you know wire transfers that sort of thing set it up bit of a hassle in today's like I say global fast paced moving world but you know still doable still works no problems there withdrawing you know once you've got the you know putting in stage done then withdrawing is not a problem at all 
and like I said they've also got in there you can transfer in for free and really it was okay um, nothing too much to grumble about other than I wish that you know from an international point of view it was just easier to take my money Now one of the reasons I do like First Trail, I did mention it earlier, is the way they keep the research and tools facility separate from the main body of trading. I just like that, just keeps it you know, tidy, unmessy, easy to use. And they do offer quite a lot in terms of tools and analysis. Um, we've got market and news, with a whole load of different subsections that you can go into, all real time, all in there. I say totally for free and that information provided by key players like Morningstar, Zacks, Briefing.com and Benzinger. Um, we go into stocks, we've got all sort of predefined stock screens down there, um, stock screener ratings, research, um, you know, here we go, we've got some Morningstar stuff here on stocks. Um, ETFs, similar types of analysis, loads to look through. And coming on to my favourite tool that they have under the option section, you've got these um, option trade ideas, credit spreads, covered calls, you know, short puts, that sort of thing. But if you go to the trading part, you go options, they've got this great tool called the options wizard where you can play around with strategies, ideas, get hints and tips from you know, first trade. You now we've got ideas over here, bullish and bearish, and you can create your own um, positions. See what they would do in terms of profit and loss, risk, potential of, you know, probability of occurring. You can say how much you want to risk, invest. You can play around with how the price is moving in terms of distributions, summary of the strategy, you know, and the basics of you know, and then playing around with what happens if the price moves and that. So a really, really nice tool that one. Especially if you're new to option trading, gives you a lot of confidence in what you're doing before you execute, and you can actually trade through that as well. So really like that tool. And again, we've got a lot of analyst research. You sort of sport for choice screeners, alerts, streaming watch list. And there's a short one I just created just for the purpose of this uh, video. But all in all, you know, and I forget to mention education around you know the platform and all those different markets and how to actually do the stuff on the platform. So really, really good. Really like those extra tools they offer. So what do I think of First Trade then? Well, actually, after using them for you know, the last three, four months, trialing them out, very, very good. I really, really like their options stuff. I'm an old options trader, and to me, it just works like I want it to do. And I also like the way I can also access stocks, and any stock for that matter, internationally, you know, really small ones that I'd never find over over here if I wanted to play them but for the US market as a whole I think it's a great product um, US citizens as well definitely should you know consider giving it a go where does it fall down well I think they could probably improve international payment access and maybe just freshen up that web you know trading application a bit more um, but actually its functionality all works very fine and like I said very good and you know with a score of a massive 82 percent that is extremely good in our review uh, score charts and you know like i said give them a go all the links um, are below if you want to join up it costs you absolutely nothing to try them out why not just have a sign up play around see what you think and if you like it get used to it then give them a go i'm actually using them now uh, for my trading and especially around the options side. So 
I hope you've liked today's video and if you have please give us the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button but if you want to watch another one of my reviews and you want to find out a bit about CFDs and spread betting then we last did a review on a broker called Trade Nation and you can watch that video here.